Ayan, hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Matibay students! Welcome to our Matibay class! Ayan! Ayan. Nag-i-enjoy ang ating mga anak sa face-to-face -face discussions natin, pero alam ko mang tintin na namimiss din nila ang ating video discussions. And sigurado ako, mag -e enjoy din sila dito, of course. At syempre naman, kailangan nila mag-enjoy, ma'am, kasi kasali ito <laughs> sa kanilang pangmalakasang first quiz. Face-to-face -face quiz. Ayan! Our topic for today is all about calculating the mean and variance of a discrete random variable. Favorite natin to. Ito yung favorite natin ginagawang mga table-table. Uh -oh. Ayan. And this is your module 3 for statistics and probability. Of course, bago tayo mag-proceed sa sinasabi nating favorite nating table-table, alamin muna natin ang objectives. We have to illustrate the mean and variance of a discrete random variable and calculate the mean and the variance of a discrete random variable. Oh, review lang tayo. Pag sinabi natin discrete random variable, what does it mean? Countable. Countable or nabibila. Ayan. Okay. Next. Let's have first the mean and variance of discrete random variable. Sabi niya dito mga anak, variance of a discrete random variable X measures the spread or variability of the distribution and is defined by our formula Ayan. which is which goes like this okay ang ibig sabihin po nito ay variance squared of x or variance itself okay it's variance equal. of x is equal to summation of x sub i minus mean of x okay close squared times p sub i. Yan. So, mamaya, malalaman natin kung ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin ng mga yan. Okay. And of course, meron din tayong, ayan, isa pa, mean of a discrete random variable x. It is the weighted average of the possible values that the random variable can take. Pag sinabi natin mean, we are talking about the weighted average. And para masolve natin yan, we have this formula. Ang haba. Ayan. Mukha siyang mahaba, pero... Madali lang yan. Mean of x is equal to x sub 1 times p sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus, ay, times p sub 2 so on and so forth hanggang marating natin yung dulo. Is Or equal we to, can always okay, simplify that one with this formula. Summation of x sub i times p sub i. I yes. At yun yung mga formulas na gagamitin natin for this topic. At mamaya yun. mga malalaman nila. O, ito na, ito na, ito na, ito na. Okay, let's now proceed with our examples. Ayan. So, bago tayo mag-proceed sa pagkuha ng ating uh, mean and variance, let's go on with this muna. Example number one, construct a probability distribution if we let x, the ram random variable, be the number of boys in the family with three children. Take note, tatlo lang po yung children. Okay. So, para for us to be able to solve for mean and va variance, kailangan muna nating mag-construct ng sarili nating table. So, we have here the number of boys and the probability. But before that, kailangan muna natin malaman yung mga outcomes. Ang hinihingi po niya is three children lang. So, we have... Kunin natin ng outcomes. Since three children lang yan, dalawa lang naman ang maging possible na gender. Tama? We have for boys and for girls. So, kukunin natin ang outcomes. Una, we have first possibility is tatlong boys. We have boys, boys, boys. Or pwede rin namang maging boys, boys, girls. With S. Boy, boy, girl. Sorry. Pwede rin namang boy, girl, boy. Or pwede rin namang boy, girl, girl. Pwede rin girl, girl, girl. Tatlong babae. Pwede girl, girl, boy. Pwede girl, boy, girl. At pwede rin ano pa hindi ko nasabi? 
Girl, girl, boy. Girl, girl, boy. Girl, girl, boy. Girl. Ano nga? Girl. Girl, girl, girl. Meron na. Girl, girl, girl nga. Meron girl, girl, girl. Girl, girl, boy. Girl, boy, girl. Girl, girl. Ayun, girl, boy, boy. So, yun yung mga possible outcomes natin. Bilangin natin, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Take note, ang outcomes po natin ay 8. Now, dito sa ating table, may nakalagay number of boys. Ilan ang probability na 0 boys ang kanilang magiging anak? Ilan ang probability na 1, 2, 3 boys ang kanilang magiging anak? So, balikan natin, 0. Hanapin natin kung ilan dyan yung zero boys, yung walang boys at all. My boy, my boy, my boy, my boy, my boy, my boy, my boy. Ibig sabihin, isa lang. So, we have one. Take note, eight outcomes all over eight. One all over eight. Check. Sabi natin sa definition na sinabi rin ni Sir Jason, probability, dapat ang sagot natin na hindi lalagpas sa one. One all over eight, hindi siya lang magpas sa one, therefore... It is a probability. Next. Ilan ang probability na may isang boy sa kanilang mga magiging anak? So, we have tatlong boy, dalawang boy, dalawa. We have isa. Isa. Isang boy. And isang boy. Ibig sabihin, we have three. Total number of outcomes is eight. Ilan ang probability na two boys ang kanilang magiging anak? We have one. Two and three. We also have three all over eight. And last, ilan ang probability na tatlong lalaki ang kanilang magiging anak? We have one all over eight. Eight. Take note, ulit. Probability hindi lalagpas sa one. So let's check if our answers are correct by adding. We have. Since pare-parehas ang kanilang denominator, just simply copy, we have 8. Numerator, just add. 1 plus 3 is 4. Plus 3, 7 plus 1, 8. 8 all over 8. And 8 all over 8 is equal to 1. Since we already have our table, pwede na natin ngayon isolve ang ating mean. How? So, ito na yung ating table. Let's solve for mean. Just multiply our x and our p. So, i-multiply natin. 0 times 1 is 0. 0, copy the denominator, all over 8. But 0 all over 8 is 0. Next, 1 times 3 is 3, divided by 8, we have 3 all over 8. Next, 2 times 3 is 6, all over 8. Last, 3 times 1 is 3. 3 all over 8. Sabi natin sa formula natin ng mean, kukunin natin ang summation. So, let's add. Ipag-add natin yan. Ito, ito, at ito. So, we have 0 plus um, fraction. So, we have 3 all over 8 plus fraction ulit. 6 all over 8 plus fraction ulit. We have 3 <laughs> all over 8. Okay. So, the answer is 3 all over 2. Yung 3 all over 2 po natin, that will be the value for our mean. So, yon ang pagkuha ng ating mean. Let's now move on sa pagsosolve or sa pagkuha ng ating variance. Take note, mga anak, na hindi ninyo pwedeng isolve si variance without your mean. So, kailangan si mean mo nang isolve bago ka mag-proceed kay variance. So, next step is, actually, the steps are provided sa inyong uh, modules, pero okay lang, pero ginawa ko na siyang ganito kasi mas madali. It's easier for us to understand. So, let's move on to our next step. Sabi niya dyan, sa next step, x ima-minus daw natin yung nakuha nating min sa lahat ng ating x. So, unahin natin si 0. We have 0 minus, ang min natin is to 3 all over 2, is equal to 0 minus 3 all over 2, equals 
negative 3 all over 2. Next, we have 1 minus 3 all over 2. We have, palitan lang natin si 0 ng 1, negative 1 half. Next, we have 2 minus 3 all over 2 is equal to 2, ayan, 1 half. Last, 3 minus 3 all over 2 is equal to 3 all over 2. So, okay na tayo dito kay x values minus our mean. Next step, kung ano yung nasolve mo dito, i-square mo lang siya. Because look at this one. X minus mean, X minus mean, naka-squared lang siya. So, square natin yung nakuha nating sagot. Negative 3 all over 2. Sorry. Negative 3 all over 2. Negative 3 all over 2. Is squared. Is equal to 9 all over 4. Negative 3 all over 2. Sulat natin lahat para siguradong makakasunod. Is equal to... 9 all over 4. Next, negative 1 half squared is equal to 1 all over 4. 1 half squared is again 1 all over 4. Next, 3 halves squared is equal to 9 all over 4. That is the next step. Last, for our table, bago natin isolve si variance. Yung nakuha mong sagot dito, or yung in-square natin kanina, multiply mo naman siya sa ating probability. So, we have x minus mean squared times yung probability. So, we have 9 all over 4 multiplied to our probability, which is, balikan natin, 1 all over 8 is equal to, next, we have 1 fourth multiplied to our probability, we have 3 all over 8. Take note, mga anak, tignan mabuti kasi maling isang mapindot or may sulat, magiging mali na lahat hanggang sa iyong variance. Wow, coming from me. <laughs> next, we have, yung sagot mo dito, 1 fourth times 3 all over 8. We have 9 all over 4 times 1 all over 8. Okay, let's solve. We have 9 all over 4 times 1 all over 8. Okay, is equal to 9 all over 32. How about this one? We have... 3 all over 8 dyan, and we have 1 fourth. So, we have 3 all over 32. Next, we have 3 all over 8 and 1 fourth. Same, 3 all over 32. Ito po, 9 all over 4 and 1 all over 8 is same ulit. So, we have 9 all over 32. Next step. Since we already have the answers, na kompleto na natin yung table, we are now ready to get the value of our variance. Paano po? By getting their summation. Summation, ibig sabihin, sum, you are just going to add the answer. So, i-add lang, lang natin siya. We have uh, 9, 9 all over 32 plus 3 all over 32 plus 9 all over 32 and last we have 3 all over 32 ayan so the answer is for our variance, we have 3 all over 4 or pwede rin namang decimal point which is 0 0.75. So, this is the value of our variance. 
Yan ang ating variance. But if you wish or there are some cases na nanghihingi siya ng values for our standard deviation. Pag sinabing standard deviation, just get the square root of this answer. Why? Dahil ang value or ang symbol po natin for standard deviation, take note, standard deviation. Our symbol for standard deviation is this one. Kung titignan mo si variance naka square si standard deviation, hindi. So, it means, para makuha si standard deviation, kunin mo lang yung square root ng iyong sagot. So, we have square root of 0.75. Our standard deviation is 0.87. So, yun lang po. That is all about Module 3, Calculating the Mean and Variance of a Discrete Random Variable. Thank you so much for listening. See you again sa ating next video discussion. If you have any questions, clarifications, you can always send us messages at pwedeng-pwede kayong magtanong. Bye-bye!